G'day guys, Mike Kutcher here, Seniors Health and Exercise Coach. So as we get older, we start to lose our balance and the way to improve your balance is by challenging your balance by doing exercises to get it better. Grab a chair for this exercise session. When challenging our balance, we do have to get ourselves into positions that are quite challenging, which is why you need a chair for safety reasons without wheels. All right, let's get into the exercise session. I'm gonna start as we always do with marching on the spot. So follow along with me, just to get everything warmed up. Let's go moving those arms, moving the legs, big smile on the face, and following along for this video. If you're watching this video and you're just sitting there watching it, stand up, grab your chair and get involved because you will feel better after doing it. It doesn't just work your balance, you'll be working your strength and your stability as well. Let's keep going, following along with me. 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job guys, taking a deep breath in and out. Right, so the first exercise we're gonna start with is just standing on one leg, just like this. So bringing that leg up, if you need to hold on, hold on. Otherwise, if you can do it without holding on, then that's great. So following along with me, really make sure you're concentrating, because when you concentrate, you can do more with your balance, and you can, I guess, build your confidence knowing your balance is actually better than what you think it is, because you're giving the exercise all your attention. So let's keep going, following along with me. If you can't stand on one leg for too long, pop the leg down and keep trying. As you get better, your balance will get better and you'll be able to hold it for longer because practice makes you better. So let's keep going for another five seconds. Five, four, whoop, three, two, one. Changing legs. Again, holding this. Let's keep going. If you lose your balance, touching down with your hand or your leg just to regain your balance and standing back up. If you need to hold on, it's not cheating by holding on because you're still working your muscles, you're still working that stability and you're training your, your brain to know what you're doing with the exercise. So it's basically learning the skill as well involved with the exercise. Another five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Taking a deep breath in and out. Okay, now we're gonna get on to the next exercise. I'm gonna put my chair in front, because I want you to put your chair in front. I'm not gonna hold on during this exercise, but if you need to hold on, you can hold on with two hands or one hand. So let's go, bring that leg out to the side, doing exactly like I'm doing, bring it up, and then bring it down. My toes are facing the front throughout this exercise. We're working on that stability in both our, in our standing hip, or the hip we've got down, and also working, strengthening the muscle in that right leg. Let's keep going for another four seconds. Sorry, four repetitions. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, changing legs. So bring that leg out to the side and bring it down. Again, leg out to the side, bring it down. Again, leg out to the side, bring it down. We're gonna do this six more times. One, two, three, and last one for good luck. Bring it out to the side. Great job guys, take a deep breath in. And out. Now we're gonna get onto the next exercise. Again, working that stability and working those muscles in the hip. We're gonna just set the leg up to the front like this. We're gonna do that 10 times. So following along with me, let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, now onto the next leg. 10 times, lifting up as high as you can. 10, holding on if you need to. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, taking a deep breath in and out. Now we're gonna get onto our calf raises. So coming up onto those toes, let's go standing nice and straight. 
and lifting up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, coming up nice and high. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to get on to the next exercise, marching on the spot, some high knees marching. Let's go for 10 seconds, following along with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, lifting those knees up, 3, 2, and 1. Great job guys, taking a deep breath in, and out. Now we're going to get into some squats. So holding onto the chair if you need to, I'm going to do it without holding onto the chair. We're going to do this 10 times, let's go. 10, 9, remember to hinge at the hips, sitting back. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. 1, back into that marching with high knees, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job guys, taking a deep breath in. And now, relaxing the body. And we're all done for today guys. Thank you for following along. Remember to head to morelifehealth.com and join up to my mailing list for your Friday workout and also to get all your seniors health and exercise information. If you've got any questions, shoot me an email at mike at morelifehealth.com. I'll catch you later.